Ukraine will destroy Vladimir Putin's most beloved bridge by mid-July. Ukrainian officials say they will destroy Vladimir Putin's most beloved bridge by mid-July, giving them roughly 100 days to pull off the near impossible, according to The Sun. It is noted that for Putin, the 12-mile Kirsch Bridge, which he hailed a miracle upon its completion, is a visible symbol of his sham triumph in returning Crimea to its homeland. For Ukraine, it's a target number one, a grotesque display of 10 years of Russian occupation. Destroying it would be a major step in winning the war in the Black Sea by cutting off a major Russian military supply route and choking Putin's war machine. Brian Clark, senior fellow at the Hudson Institute and director of the Center for Defense Concepts and Technology, believes it is entirely possible Ukraine could do it, but it needs the right weapons. The most actively defended bridge in the world could be brought down with a multi-pronged, big bang style air and sea attack, he told The Sun. The speaker of the naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, Dmitry Pletenchuk, reacted to an article by The Sun. We have repeatedly spoken about this openly. Our president has spoken about this. This is an illegal extension to our Crimea. It must be destroyed. And one day you will once again see the news that you saw before, that the bridge is out of order. Question only what the extent of this damage will be. And of course, we will do everything possible to ensure that it is no longer there. Pletenchuk explained. He also told how the Russian Federation is now using the Crimean bridge and how it is preparing for its destruction. Yes, for the Russians, it is perhaps even more of a symbolic character. They can no longer use it for military logistics after the damage received. There remains an energy branch on it that goes to Crimea. But basically, it is used by ordinary Russians who illegally visit Ukrainian Crimea. Therefore, it is a logical decision by the Russian leadership to build an alternative route for obvious reasons. He added, China sharply increases sales of technologies to Russia to help its war effort in Ukraine. U.S. data shows that China has sharply increased its sales of machine tools to Russia, as well as microelectronics and other technologies that Moscow uses to produce missiles, tanks, aircraft, and other weapons for its war against Ukraine, reports Associated Press. The sources of the media outlets reported that Russia received about 90% of its microelectronics imports from China in 2023. In addition, almost 70% of Russian imports of machine tools worth about $900 million in the last quarter of 2023 were also of Chinese origin. Furthermore, Chinese and Russian companies are working on joint production of drones in Russia and Chinese companies are likely to provide Russia with nitrocellulose needed to make rocket fuel. China-based companies Wuhan Global Sensor Technology Company Wuhan Tongsheng Technology Company Limited and Hikvision are providing optical components for use in Russian tanks and armored vehicles. The official said Russia has received military optics for use in tanks and armored vehicles manufactured by Chinese firms, Iray Technology and North China Research Institute of Electro Optics, and China has been providing Russia with UAV engines and turbojet engines for cruise missiles. According to data from the Russian customs analyzed by the Free Russia Foundation, Russian semiconductor imports from China surged from $200 million in 2021 to over $500 million in 2022. Beijing is also working with Russia to enhance its satellite and other space-based capabilities for use in Ukraine. This, according to officials, could increase the long-term threat Russia poses to Europe. Officials citing intelligence stated that the U.S. has also identified China providing Russia with satellite imagery for its war against Ukraine. U.S. officials discussed the findings as Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to visit China this month for talks. In October 2023, the U.S. Department of Defense stated that China supplies weapons to Russia, including drones, small arms and equipment.